Hi there, my name is Ivory and I'm a gallery guide here at the Yale University Art Gallery. I wanted to take a look at this beautiful oil painting by the French artist Jean-Léon Jérôme, titled Ave Chaiser, Moritue et Salitante, painted in 1859. The rich details, the columns, circular architecture, a retractable awning, all indicate that the painting is set in Rome's famous Colosseum. We also see spectators crowding the theater, light cast over the crowd, and gladiators in a sand-filled ring. Jerome used the architecture of the Colosseum to build a narrative within the piece. Let's take a look at the leftmost third. What do you notice about the figures? Yeah, they're configured as if in a theatrical production. Gladiators who had died in combat are being dragged off the fighting ring through hooks that puncture their stomachs. To add entertainment value to this gory scene, two men who are dressed as Pluto, god of the underworld, and Hermes, messenger of the dead, lead the procession off the canvas. Let's move to the middle third, with these gladiators raising their weapons. Notice that there are two classes of fighters represented here, the Mermilo, wielding shield and sword, and the Retiarius, wielding trident and net. How are they feeling? Triumphant, courageous, maybe overconfident? Have they won the battle, or has their battle just begun? The key to this question is the title of this piece, which roughly translates to Hail Caesar! We who are about to die salute you. So, they're about to fight. They're feeling riled up, ready to give the spectators a good show, even though they know that they'll likely die. Now let's look at the right. What do you notice about these figures? Well, firstly, notice Emperor Vitellius' expression. Does he look impressed by this theatrical display? Not really, it seems. By contrasting the indifference of the Caesar with the excited hope of glory of the gladiators, Jerome is commenting on the sentiment of French society in the 19th century. He studied at the Col des Beaux-Arts and Rome. He created detailed, accurate history paintings and exhibited often at the Paris Salon, a popular art exhibition run by the Academy of Paris. He exhibited this painting in the Salon of 1859. Some experts theorize that this painting is an allegory of contemporary French contempt for their leaders, whose imperial desires and internal conflicts resulted in civilian casualties. This bloodiness paralleled that of the Roman Empire, which reveled in battles like the one you see here. At the end of a great gladiatorial fight, it is the civilians who lay dead in the dust, nameless, dragged off by hooks in the stomach, while only the Caesar's legacy and name will prevail. Other experts believe that the history painting of this type in the mid-19th century, especially in France, was voyeuristic and melodramatic in the way that many novels were, but not metaphorical or topical. Either way, it's a masterful piece that was displayed at the Salon for an elite audience and which is now displayed at the Yale University Art Gallery for all to enjoy.